out to um, have a look at fitting the solar panel to the van this evening. It's a 100 watt um, Muhu panel or Mohu or something like that. It's um, the panels on it, or the solar cells are made by um, Sun Power uh, and they're made in China, but they're one of the, the better ones to get. It's quite a nice evening for it, so I'm not going to drill at all the panel on this one. Um, when I put it on, I'm literally just going to um, silk flex it, hence, I've got this big tube here as well, which is a, um, a Remo style um, kind of awning rail for the side. It's actually one made by Van Moose. Um, who are kind of a British company that do a similar design. I think there's a tube of Silkaflex in there, so I'm going to give it a go tonight, just fitting the panel on the roof. I'm hoping to get away with just one panel, like I said, it's 100 watts, and it's going to be running through a MPPT solar controller, which I haven't actually got with me at the moment. So tonight's just um, bonding the panel on the roof and um, running the wiring into the van, really. Um, I don't want to drill the van. Good thing about being a 100 watt panel, um, the wires are quite thin, it's only 4 mil wires, so I'm hoping that they can run along the back of the van and we'll actually sit down between the, um, the seal by the boot and then I'll just take them into the, the corner of the unit here which I'll, uh, I'll just show you. Hoping that they'll come out just in the corner here, kind of run down one of the channels and then end up coming into the, the corner of the unit here. The charge controller is bigger than I hoped, um, so I'm probably not going to have it on display. I'm probably going to have it in one of the cupboards with the, um, the uh, consumer unit and the fuse board, so um, out the way a bit. Hopefully it'll be straightforward. Like I say, it's just a matter of silk flexing up the roof. I'm going to key the surfaces first and um, and just basically glue it on. It's such a light panel and it's a, a um, semi-flexible one as well, so it should bond straight on. Luckily, um, on the roof of the T5s, you've got the, um, the recesses, so the um, junction box in the back of the panel will fit just in one of these recesses here, so it should fit relatively flush. I'm either gonna go in the middle um, or just on the back of the van there, so, um, depending on what I think any minute. The back of the van is obviously better because I um, will have more um, cable to go with. Um, but I'm worried about if it's on the back, I'm going to get shading from these roof bars, so it's not going to be as efficient. So I might end up putting it in the middle. I'll get the panel up anyway, have a few a look at um, roughly where I want it to go, and I'll come back to you in a minute. Keyed the surface now, so I've just cleaned it with um, some, like panel wipes type stuff, um, general purpose wipes. I've also keyed it, so I've just scuffed up these high bits with um, some sandpaper to make the surface rougher, just so uh, the um, adhesive uh, sticks in a bit better, makes a better key in the, the surface. Um, now all I have to do is. Uh, So we'll check the panel again. It's going to roughly sit um, like that on the van, so obviously trying to make sure it's um, flush. And the, the wire is going to be uh, coming out of this end here. I've tried to push the van down slightly here as well, um, just to dent the roof down a bit. You, you won't see it because it's lying inside. It's just. Um, makes this junction box that's underneath it here um, fit down really. Uh, a quick word about testing the panels, obviously before you fit them you want to be testing them, um, it's too dark now to test it, I tested this one uh, yesterday in the sun, it's a 100 watt panel so it's maximum is going to be about 5.5 amps, um, about 18 volts, yesterday I was pulling 20 volts 
at about 4.5 amps. That's really good because they always test these under like really ideal test conditions. So um, you very rarely are ever going to get what they um, have stated. But about 4.5 amps is going to give you about 80 watts or something like that roughly. So it's pretty efficient, this panel. Like I said, it's um, a Muhu one. It's made by, uh, well, it's made by Muhu, but the the actual chips and the solar um, or the silicone um, panels uh, made by SunPower, they're a Chinese company, but they're renowned for um, having quite good efficiencies. I think these are 22 percent efficient panels, which are quite good. So, um, just going to have the wires kind of rooted under here, running down this groove, and then they'll end up coming, like I said earlier, around the back of this panel under here, and then just um, through the bit of wood. Right, been through the package and I've got my um, sealant. It's not actually um, silk flex, it's master seal. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spread a bead of this, thick bead, thick as I can, right across each raised bit. Just put some weights on the panel and um, wait for it to dry. I'm not gonna do it up here. Um, I'll probably head back home, park up and let it go overnight. So just giving you a general gist. Um, I'm just trying to think how am I going to find if the panel's um, dead square on. Um, I don't want to glue it at a wonky angle, so um, I've got the drone with me. I'm going to fly up, try and capture some of the sunset, and uh, take a picture on the top of the van. And then if it's dead level, I'll mark it with some pen. And uh, when I apply this tonight, um, like I say, I'll put a load of tools on the top to weigh it down, get that set, and then um, tomorrow or uh, next day I'll have a go at. Um, doing the wiring and putting the uh, charge controller in. finished off fitting the um, solar panel the other day uh, it's a few days later I was hoping to get a bit better weather for it to um, show you while it's working but it's um, pretty cloudy today the sun's just all blocked out so um, it's not working that great the most I saw it so far is half an amp which is pretty bad but the last few days has just been really cloudy and overcast down here um, what I did in the end is um, uh, fitted the panel in the middle um, just run the connections down here. I had to buy uh, a bit of extension cable with it as well uh, Just a five meter one with MC4 connectors on um, I've staggered them so they don't stick out so much and the cable runs along the roof down <coughs> And inside like I said, it's only four mil cable, so it doesn't um, It doesn't actually um, Stand out too much. Like I say, I've done this whole installation about drilling anything on the van at all it's just simply um glued down all the cables glued down as well and um there's no drill i do want to drill the roof just says one extra chance one less chance of it leaking um obviously there's a chance of it leaking down by this seal now that's pushed down but i don't think it will if you look at the way the van works it's quite a deep um dip down this section all the water that comes off the roof is just going to run down the outside and um, I can't see anything really coming in here unless it's uh, absolutely bucking it down. So all I've done in the end is I fitted the um, solar controller here just as um, on the back. It's not the ideal location, but it's a lot bigger than I thought. It's um, to stick out quite a bit. Um, I wanted it on display, obviously, because you've got quite a few functions with it. So I've just brought the cable in top of the unit here. Um, quite a big recess behind the cable, uh, behind the, the controller, just to allow the cables to fit flush. And they just come in, in here. I've only got the battery powered in at the moment. Eventually I probably will put a load in there. Yeah, so I got cut off there. 
Yeah, so the load, what you can do with it is you can use it to power another device. Quite clever because you can make it so that when the um, the battery is fully charged, it will bleed off the load onto um, onto the um, whatever else you want. So basically, you can use it to charge the battery, and then once that's done, it can do something else like um, heat water or something. That's probably what I'm going to do with it. To be honest, is wire it into a heating element um, and have that um, in the water container. So it'll give me like a hot shower and hot water. It's quite clever because you can make it on the timer as well so that you can make it for instance so it will power the load for an hour or three hours before sunset or an hour or three hours whatever you want before or after sunrise or um, after sunset so for instance if you wanted a shower in the morning you could have it so that it powered it um, say a couple of hours after sunrise for three hours so when you actually wake up in the van you're gonna have hot water in there um, so yeah it's quite a clever idea so I will eventually wire it up for that uh, but at the moment it's just done for the battery so that's the install I've done um, hope you found it useful to do it like I say there's no drilling involved with this so it's just literally glued and bonded and just kind of run down so all with Silka Flex um, I'll put in a video in future how well it works I just need to get a, a good day for it really um, like I say hope you found it interesting please um, like and share and subscribe